The most sought after states, Florida, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, the all important swing states. And tonight, we have brand new poll numbers. Who wins these swing states? Now, the latest Quinnipiac poll shows that in a primary, former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich takes a commanding lead over Governor Mitt Romney in Florida, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Now, does that mean Speaker Gingrich is a safe bet for the Republicans? Well, not so fast. It might all change when you put Gingrich and Romney up against President Obama. For a closer look at those numbers, Jonathan Strong from Roll Call joined us. Nice to see you, Jonathan. Hey, Greta. All right, so when you put those numbers up, President Obama against Mitt Romney and President Obama against Newt Gingrich, um, who comes out ahead? Romney comes out ahead, and Romney is consistently ahead of Gingrich when he's matched up against President Obama. And so what you have here is this interesting dynamic of Newt Gingrich kind of mopping the floor with Mitt Romney in the primary polls, but actually when they're head-to-head -head against Obama, Romney's got the advantage he may be the more electable candidate. What's this uh, popular thinking or the, the conventional wisdom as to why that would be? Just that he's uh, a little bit less hot of a figure. He's kind of uh, focused on the economy a little bit more, a little bit more moderate uh, for different reasons, that he's a little bit more appealed. He appeals to those independent voters better than Gingrich does. But if you look at the, um, at the 2012 race between Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich, I mean, the numbers are pretty astounding. Like in Florida, Gingrich is, is mopping the floor of, uh, of, of with Romney. It's 52 to 34. That's huge. In Ohio, Gingrich is ahead 55 to 28 over Romney. That's also huge. And Pennsylvania, 50 over 31 percent. It's amazing how in the primary, in those three important states, Floral Ohio and Pennsylvania, um, Gingrich is just cleaning up. Well, it, yeah, it, it's really impressive. Um, one thing to keep in mind here is, you know, Florida is an important primary state, but it's not Iowa and it's not New Hampshire, which those are really the, the key ones that we're looking at here, where Gingrich is also doing well. But in New Hampshire, Romney is still ahead. Um, the other thing to keep in mind here is that this is a very fluid and dynamic race. And if you look at Newt Gingrich's rise in the polls, it has almost the same profile as Rick Perry, and we know where he is now, so it could change in a heartbeat. I should probably point out, though, that in terms of the polls and the sort of the matchup between President Obama and Governor Romney and President Obama and Speaker Gingrich, um, it's not like the margin is that wide. For instance, um, let take Florida. President Obama would uh, uh, take Pennsylvania. President Obama would beat Governor Romney 46 percent to 43. That's not very much. Um, he would beat uh, uh, Gingrich 48 to 40 percent. In Ohio, the numbers are a little bit closer. Um, there, Mitt, Governor Romney would beat President Obama 43 percent to 42 percent, and. Uh, and Speaker Gingrich would have the same, would also beat him you in know, Ohio. It's not a huge difference. It's not like the difference we've seen between Gingrich and Romney in the primary polls. But it's a significant difference, and we see it repeated in poll after poll. We see it in the national polls when they're matched up against Obama, and we see it in the breakouts of the other polls where you see the independent voters and the Democratic voters slightly preferring Romney. That's where he gets the edge when he's matched up against Obama. But it's slightly preferred. You know, it's, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's like almost within the margin of error right. when, you, when you compare the two against President President Obama. The, Governor Romney and, and Speaker Gingrich are slightly the same, except that Governor Romney edges ahead. It's four to seven points in most polls. Now that is in, in the mar margin of error of some polls, but when you see it repeated over a dozen polls or, or so, then you can kind of take that to the bank that there's a, there's a significant edge there. Is uh, Governor Romney's campaign sweating, sweating, these poll, uh, sweating these polls? They are come, you know, preparing a big attack on Newt Gingrich, and just tonight they accidentally leaked an attack ad against Gingrich, which I have yet to see. I just saw it on my phone on the way over here, uh, which is a sign that they're kind of in, you know, getting ready to launch a big attack on Gingrich. Atta there are two different ways to attack. One is to attack someone's record. And the other to attack someone personally. Now, there's one ad out today that sort of covertly um, attacks his, his uh, Gingrich's personal uh, right. past. Uh, what's this? What you have any idea what this one is tonight? That's like a contrast ad, and what they're doing is saying Mitt Romney is such a great family man, and he's been yeah, married to the same woman. Yeah, but it's a nod and a wink. It's a nod and a wink. Everybody knows what it really means. Everybody knows that it means Gingrich has had three wives, and that each time he married again, it was because he was, you know, having an affair with the the next wife. That's what's the implied but this, contrast. But this new one that was actually Accidentally, accidentally, was it accidentally leaked? This goes, it's a full minute. It goes into a far greater number of subjects and attacks him head on. What? Plus, they had a big campaign conference call this morning, you know, reaming Gingrich there with two surrogates. So they're really coming, it's coming on full steam. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're scared. 
um, in terms of the ad that you said tonight that I mean did they intend to release this ad that you're talking about tonight they said that they did not intend to release it so that's rather awkward they said it's unfinished so awkward but it could be kind of like a unique social media strategy almost well, or that they're sort of doing a trial balloon up there well, who knows I doubt that but it's a possibility it's interesting though that it is getting so I don't remember being quite so aggressive between candidates um, within a party I guess it does get that when you get down to the wire Hillary and, and Barack Obama was pretty but the three o'clock phone call and it was pretty brutal um, anyway um, so uh, how about the other candidates I mean uh, in Iowa anyone like I see I still think Senator Rick Santorum is going to surprise us all and come well, in maybe he's, second he's worked the hardest in Iowa and one of the reasons that this is still going to be unpredictable is because the candidates haven't launched a traditional campaign there except for him so we could see the poll is not really reflecting reality because p candidates aren't able to get their voters to the caucus. Well, it's going to be interesting, um, and I'd keep my eye on Senator Santorum for probably second place, but that's just a wild guess. Who knows? Anyway, Jonathan, thank you. Thanks very much. Straight ahead, no.